application after application. Rejection after rejection. But that one interview. That's all I needed. That's the situation I was in six months ago. I'd done all the hard work, put in so much time and effort into numerous applications that I just had to nail the interview. I didn't want all that effort to go to waste. Hey everyone, my name is Junaid and I'm a graduate data analyst working in London. So in today's video, I'm going to break down what I did 24 hours before my data analyst interview to make sure I landed the role. As always, the video is split up into these sections and the timestamps are in the description. Feel free to skip around to whatever section you feel is the most relevant to you. All right, let's dive straight in. So the first thing you need to do once you've landed an interview is to figure out what problem you're being hired to solve. You can find this out by reading the job description and doing in-depth research into the company you're applying for. You want to be able to understand where the use of data is prevalent within the company and how you'll be used when you're hired to help the company achieve their goal and direction. For me, I really realized that the company needed me to help clients make informed decisions with the insights that I'd be able to provide. So I immediately began to think of and write down examples of when I'd dealt with clients and met their needs. The firm I'd applied to had recently introduced the analytics division and needed people with a different viewpoint from those already within the organization. So again, I began to think of ways in which I could demonstrate the creativity and thinking outside of the box that they were looking for. So identify the problem you're being hired to solve and apply Apply that to your approach to the interview. Interview prep can make a huge difference in your application, especially for analysts where there are client facing technical and research aspects to your role. You need to be able to display competency in all those facets. And that's where good interview prep can really help. It's an incredibly competitive industry. So any preparation that you do beforehand will only help you in the interview process. I wanted to stand out as much as possible in the interview. So I spent the day before doing as much research as I possibly could into the company I was applying for. For. I looked at their LinkedIn posts, news articles on the company. I researched the company website. I knew their corporate structure from the CEO down. I knew names of upper management and their roles. I also knew who would be interviewing me. I'd done background research into the interview panel, the names of which will usually be given to you in the interview email. This way, I wasn't going in blind into the interview. I knew the interviewers and their background, and I knew enough about the company that I could even bring it up as a talking point. Doing that research is important because a good interviewer will always ask you what you know about the company and you can get away with knowing some basic points about the company, their line of business and some of the projects that they've been involved in. But like I said, my goal was to stand out. So I went a step further. I also spent a bunch of time the day before reviewing and honing my technical skills. Now, you know, for data analysis, you need to show a strong foundation in Excel. So I made sure my Excel skills, pivot tables, VLOOKUPs, formulae, uh, summary and data tables were all up to scratch. For any type of analyst, uh, Excel skills are a strong prerequisite. So make sure your Excel skills are demonstrable and up to scratch. And the last thing I did was make sure I had developed some good questions to ask the interviewers at the end of the interview. An interview isn't just for the interviewers to ask you questions, but you need to be able to engage with them and the company. So having some questions ready to ask them is a really, really important part of the process. It shows that you're not only interested in the company, but that you've been proactive behind the scenes. And I've never had an interview where I didn't ask the interviewers questions at the end. This might seem like a lot of prep to do for an interview, but like I said, the industry is incredibly competitive. So I don't think there's a point where you can say, oh, I've done too much prep for this interview. The best thing you can do is to have practiced the most common data analyst interview questions before your interview. So what I did was I'd reached out to analysts on LinkedIn and having asked them about the interview process, I even reached out to analysts who were working for the firm I was applying to. And through this process, I'd built a bank of really specific potential questions that I could be asked. And I'd already planned out pre-written answers to most of those questions. The reason I'd already planned out pre-written answers or a pre-written framework, I wasn't rehearsing them per se, but I had a pre-written framework for how I would answer 
particular questions and the reason for that was I didn't want to go into the interview and wing it off the top of my head. I didn't want to sit there and um uh through every question. I wanted to be able to demonstrate a clear and concise manner of conversation so that the interviewers could see that I'd represent them well when I'd be facing and dealing with their clients. If you want some examples of the questions I was asked in my multitude of interviews feel free to reach out to me on linkedin or instagram otherwise i've linked some good websites with question banks for data analyst interviews in the description below okay so during my interview i had all the prompts or bullet points in my head about how i'd answer the most common questions i'd almost rehearsed my answers to some degree beforehand and so in the interview i could focus on being confident and competent rather than worrying about the content of my answers. For every question I was given, I made sure to add a story or example of when I demonstrated a particular skill. Being able to tell a story is so important in interviews. It makes you more memorable and helps you to stand out. I've had the chance to sit in some recruitment interviews during my time as a data analyst and the most memorable interviewees were those who were able to tell a well-structured story to accompany their answers to our questions. These stories help you to stand out and help the interviewers to validate your soft skills. I would say pick out three stories that highlight your best accomplishments and use these as demonstrable evidence to help supplement your answers. If you want a good book about how to tell a story, I'd highly recommend reading The Story Factor by Annette Simmons, where she talks about the art of storytelling and how to use it to your advantage. I've used countless lessons from the book during my interviews, when dealing with clients or even just in social situations. Okay, and if your interview was in person, like mine was, be on time and by be on time i mean be there 15 minutes early you can't disregard the importance of punctuality especially in financial institutions especially in finance they don't really care for excuses and they're incredibly busy so being on time is as important as anything and also remember at the end of the day an interview isn't the be all and end all if you were able to land one interview and it doesn't go to plan, you already have the capability to land another one. There was a really interesting vlog on YouTube by a YouTuber by the name of Richard Yu, who was a senior student at UCLA and it was his final day as a college student. As he's walking through the sunny streets of Los Angeles to his final college examinations, he says that he used to hate finals exams when he first started college and that it took a reframing of his mindset to finals being something that he has to do to something that he gets to do. Those finals were a way in which he could showcase his ability and all the hard work he'd put in behind the scenes during his four years at college. That's the way I look at anything that would have previously been nerve-wracking for me. The same with interviews and a lot more in life. These interviews were just a way for me to show how good a candidate I was for the company and showcase all my experience and expertise within the subject. If you're interested in checking out Richard Yu's video, I'll link it in the description. I highly recommend you give it a watch. Otherwise, I'll end the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit the subscribe button and let me know any funny or interesting interview stories in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.